Hello YouTubers, welcome back to Small Product Shop. The product I've got for you this week is another cute little dog. I don't know what it is with dogs, but people tune in in their thousands to look at dogs. I turn bowls, I do texturing and colouring, and I get a few hundred views. I turn a dog, thousands of people want to look at it. So, let's do another dog for you. Hope you enjoy this one. What I'm going to do, because most dogs are brown, I'm going to use this piece of walnut. It's pretty much the outside piece. It's quite light in colour. It's not that beautiful dark heartwood. It's some of the lighter outer wood. But even so, I think it's still quite attractive. There's still some quite nice grain running through there. So this is a piece I'm going to use today. So I've got a piece of walnut set up between centres. And the first thing I need to do is just go through and knock the corners off. Get it in some nice round shape. Just going through my roughing gauge. And just taking that down. That's uh, plenty big enough for what I want, so I don't have to worry too much about uh, getting in the size. What I'm doing there with the chisel is just if you lay the chisel on top, if there's still a flat spot on there, the chisel will just bounce slightly and you get like a knocking sound. And once you know that you've taken all the flats off, it, it'll just sit there nice and smoothly. So I'm down and marking this out, one piece will be for the head, one piece will be for the body and then the bit that's left over will do for the arms, legs, ears, feet. So I'm going to concentrate on first just doing the head and doing the body. There's a piece of wood I've got, I'm just going to concentrate here on uh, making the head. And the piece I'm turning there will be the snout for the dog, his nose. Just blending that down so it'll be a curve at the top of his head. Just coming down to his nose. Just coming in with a parting off chisel at the back, just to give me my date and point or the finishing point where I need to go and then just curling that down <clears throat> but my three eighths huge uh, three eighths spindle gauge there I always use for that sort of work so that's pretty much the shape it really is as easy as that as quick as that and I just need to sand that down there and I'll just sand that down through from... That's all sand down nicely, sand down to 400, it's got a lovely finish off that walnut. And I will, as I do with all of my dogs, give me a nice black nose. Very nice. Uh, the other thing I just want to do now is just find the top of his head and just mark his eyes. And then I just draw in there for his eyes. That's one. So, now all I need to do is just sand off that pencil line. Put a little bit of sand and sealer. And always with stuff like that, it gets a lot of handling. So I'm going for micro crystalline wax. A lot more resistant to those greasy little fingers. Now we're just going to part that off. Now I have one head. 
right, so this is going to be the body. All I want for this is like a rugby ball shape. Just get in there as close as I can to the chuck. Quite like that. That's the body done. It's that easy. Quick sand up. Sand and sealer on that. A little micro crystalline. That's the body done. Let's prattle that off. Beautiful. I don't want it's two legs, two arms. Let's use my skewed chisel. I'll just take a plane and cut across there. Obviously I need to drill into the body, so if I take that drill, I think they're probably big enough. So as I want, a bit of sand and sealer, a bit of wax. What I'm going to do is just to cut that in half. I'm not sure where long I want that yet. 70ml, 35ml. Give me two legs and the ears. I want these to be in proportion to the head, but I want a sort of a teardrop shape. I want them to be there, I think. Pretty much like that. It's another quick sounding. No sound in the sailor. With the microcrystalline. And I'm just going to take that over onto the bandsaw and just cut that in half. And that's the ears finished. I just need to move on to the feet. First off, I need to lose quite a bit of that thickness. As that's going to be one of my legs, I need the feet to be in proportion to that. So still quite a bit of... Pretty good, I like that. Quick polish. Now I'll just take that over onto the bouncer. All I have in there is a scrap piece of wood. And all I need to do is put a small hole in there. <coughs> for that to just fit inside of there, nice and snug. That's perfect.
perfect. As you see, that fits in there lovely. What I'm going to do is just apply a little bit of hot glue on two spots on there, and then that allow me to finish this end off. I'm going to sand it down, put the sand sealer, put the wax on, so it'll all be exactly the same. Uh, I don't need much on there because it's not. I'm only going to sand that. I'm not going to cut it. So it's not. There's going to be a great deal of pressure put on there. That's out there in there nice and firmly. I just get and sand that end away. Sand sealer. And that, you can't tell any difference, and it all looks exactly the same, and then that will just twist straight out of there. And that really does annoy me when I see people who don't do that. And I'm not sure if they do that out of ignorance or laziness. You quite often you look at people when they turn you see where they part off and it's completely different on that back head, back side of the head. Right, now let's get to assembly. So here's everything ready to be assembled. So the first thing I need to do, this is its body. So I need to drill two holes in the bottom of that, four legs. That will stop the drill from wandering off. To go. What I'm going to do is present it at an angle which is flat to the wood to start with. And then what I do once I get it started, I can bring it around and go at an angle like that. And the same on that side. Just drill two holes in there, do it exactly the same, come at an angle, same on that side, so that's a nice fit in there, and that's a nice fit in there. Just drop a little bit of super glue on there. Drop in here. There's another one. Just put that to one side to dry. Now that's the head. And I'm just going to put a couple of eyes in there. You could turn up your own eyes for this, but. Um, I'd buy these small brown ones from a hobby shop. They just drop in there, they're lovely. And these can be the ears, so I'm going to drill a small hole in the top of them. I think what I need to do is just put a small flat on the side of the head, I'll just set that over, put that on the sander, just put a small flat on either side. Next I want to fit the feet to the legs and to do that I'm just going to drill a small pilot hole in there to start with and then because that piece of wood is so small I'm going to clamp that to the bench and then just drill the big, bigger hole in there just so that those legs just drop straight in there and then just add a little bit of super glue 
just to make sure they don't come out again. And next we're moving on to the ears. I've sanded two flats on the side of the head. Um, those are the ears I turned in sort of teardrop shape and just took them onto the bandsaw and cut them in half. And then just with the use of that bamboo cane, I just fit the ears straight onto the side of the head. And there they go, quite cute. So that's the head finished. Hole in the middle of there. Drop of glue. Bamboo cane. Sniff it off. Bit of glue. And just put them together. Maybe want a couple of arms on there. So, just made a couple of small arms for him. Or front legs, I suppose he should be, really. But last, not least, a dog wouldn't be a dog without a tail to wag. Well, there we go, YouTubers. Another beautiful little dog. Funny you know, because the actual head and the body that took me no time. Even cutting the wood up well within inside an hour. But to do the feet, the legs, the arms, the ears and the tail it took me easily twice as long to do that. That is somebody's law that you can do. 95% of the work and 5% of the time. The other 5% of the work takes you 95% of the time. I'm not sure whose law that is. If somebody does, leave me a little comment in the bottom. I bet you know, Mike. So there we go. Good fun project. Really fun to do. I'm sure that's another one my grandchildren snaffle up as soon as they get up indoors. Well, thank you all very much for watching. I've been Steve Hal. Have another great day down in my workshop. Thank you all. You take care of yourself. Bye bye.